This is continuation of last episode I posted on Emily yesterday. Apparently, we talked about Chini exposed Chini kicked out of the family house, and also a tough confessed feelings and love for Chini, uh, and love for Emily in front of Chini. All this episode are now available on my channel. Don't forget to watch them, especially when Chini got exposed and how she was kicked out. So now, um, this episode after she was exposed, she returned back for revenge. And most of you guys were really commenting that is now need to expose. I hope she will not come back. Apparently, here she is. She is back, and she now went and kidnapped all the whole family members. And um, also, she wants to really get married to Adaf now by fire by force. Like, if you don't marry me, I will I will deal with your family. And um, last episode stopped where Emily was searching for the whole family members and found nobody there. So let us continue. Episode continue. Chili kidnaps. Episode continues, Chini kidnaps the Rana family and insists to marry Ataf. Ataf says that he will never marry her as he doesn't love her. Chini reminds her that he used to love her before and should start loving her again. Ataf says loving her was the biggest mistake of his life and he will not marry her at any cost. Chini orders her goons to bring a bride at the altar. Ataf fights with the goons. The goons overpowers Ataf. He overpowers the goons again and trashes them badly. Imni whistles and says that she is proud of her hero. He saved himself, but how will he save his family? Ataf sees his family tied with a heavy object hanging over them. Shini says that she is enjoying a feeling of being a villain openly for the first time. Devika asks Ataf not to sacrifice his life for them. Shini unveils the altar and says that she will marry Ataf right at the altar here. Rudra pleads to God that Rudra please please God if there is no one who will save them. Imni reaches back to her time office and as employee to track a number for her. Employee says the IT guy is on leave. Emily says her family is in danger and requests to call the IT guy right now. As the family member's phone numbers, Chini ties at her and asks that if he thinks that Emily will come and save him and the family members get Chini's score. And the family members get Emily's score. Chini orders her to Chini orders her goods to take everyone's phone and throw away their SIM card. The IT guy reaches and tries to locate the phone numbers. Chini's goons click selfie in the phone trying to remove the SIM card and throw it near a Holika Diane fire. IT guy tracks the location. Chini drags Ataf to the altar. Rudra asks Chini what will Rupa refuse when she learns about Chini's act. Chini says that she'll be happy hearing about marriage if she really loves her. Chini tells Ataf that she herself will perform her wedding. She takes Ferris, taking oaths that she will not let anyone come between them and will kill Emily if she does so. Emily drives towards the location and prays that God stops God to stop any um event till she reaches there. However, Chini takes the second vow that she will decide where and when he will go and control Atav's life. Emily reaches the location and finds the Holika Dayam and Emily prays to God and finds um, Guinea's phone nearby. She delivers a heavy dialogue to fail Chini's evil plan and punish her. She gets back in the car and thinks we actually must have taken all of the family too. Chini continues the Ferris. Rudra wants her not to do that. Emily says that after two Ferris, Chini stops the Ferris. Rudra wants her not to do this disaster. Emily says, after, Chini says, after two more rounds, Atav will be hers forever and that she will complete it at any cost. Emily, whoever who was still driving to come catch um, Chini and probably stop the wedding, thinks that she forgave Chini always as she attacked her. But if she attacks Atav, she will not spare her. She reaches the venue before Chini's last Ferris. The family gets a hope seeing Emily. Chini tells Emily that a heavy object is hanging on over her family's head and that she'll kill all of them if she comes near. The goon forces Ataf to kneel down. Emily notices a spice boss near a fan and spreads chili pepper, Chini and her goons. She then runs towards a fallen object towards the family. A goon leaves a rope with a heavy object hanging over the Rana family. It falls down it falls towards them. Emily runs and pulls the rope down, saving all of them. Ataf reaches there and asks if she is fine. She unties the rope around them with her teeth and asks Ataf to free the family and soon. Ataf does this and the goons get a lot. Ataf fights with the goons and Emily continues to hold the rope with great difficulties. The runners freeze themselves and beat up the goons. Chini thinks that Emily saved them, who will save her. She pushes Emily towards the object but herself slips and falls down the object falls towards Chini. But Emily pushes her away and saves her on time. Ataf checks Emily and asks if something have happened to her, she would have Emily says that she is fine as nothing has happened. Devika thanks Emily for saving all of them and the police which is there. Emily has the inspector to arrest Chini who had kidnapped the family members and she tries to escape for the police. 
catches Chini. So I'll post the continuation of this video by tomorrow morning. Chini arrested and also finally, and finally Atav and Imni were the ones who eventually got married and not Atav and Chini. What do you think, guys? Um, I think this is the update everybody have been waiting for. Don't forget to watch other episodes I've actually posted, and I'll see you guys next time. And bye, guys.